Brian Plaza as the executive director of Heads Consortium. In January 2006, the Heads Board of Directors appointed Ms. Juvelkis Montalvo as the new executive director to lead the organization. She took on the challenge to guide the organization toward a self-sustainable model and to continue the implementation of targeted services and programs for all members and educational community in general. Uh, Ms. Montalvo has taken the consortium through a 10-year journey of consistent evolution, expanding its memberships, creating new services, and proposing new educational technology options for everybody. Let's give a warm welcome to Juvelkis Montalvo, Heads Executive Director. Thank you, Jimmy. Oh, nice, you look beautiful from here. <laughs> Good morning to all. Thank you for being with us today as we inaugurate the Heads 2016 Best Practices Showcase. This is a very significant event for this organization since it is the moment we highlight the best practices among our members, partners, and other organizations to address Hispanic learner success through the use of technology. And this is what is heads, this is what heads is all about. We all get together to share our expertise and learn about ways to improve Hispanic students' opportunities in higher education. This year, the event has also given us the opportunity to collaborate and connect and launch new services like the Heads Commons platform. And as a token of gratitude for your support in this new initiative, we are pleased to announce that a price of $100 a visa card each day will be raffled among all the people that sign up at the Heads Commons platform. An email was sent yesterday with the link to the platform and the instructions to sign up and sign, signing up and have the opportunity to share, collaborate, and also win this prize. The prize will be announced during the launch, and you have to be present to win. So, and you have until 11 a.m. to sign up. So check out your email and go to the link, and then uh, sign up and, um, and make your profile in the platform so you can, uh, so your name can appear on the on the raffle. Okay, continuing, we certainly appreciate your willingness to share this moment in this organization history with us. Also, once again, we have been able to use this event to serve students directly through the academic fair we are having this afternoon, an activity that allows them to explore their options and opportunities in higher education. The academic fair is also an opportunity for our members' institutions to personally deliver this message to potential students. I greatly appreciate the ongoing support of our members, the contribution and collaboration of our corporate affiliates, and the cons consistent trust and guidance of the board of directors, the executive committee, the staff, and collaborators. Events like this are the result of an outstanding effort uh, team effort, excuse me, and this event is a proof that by working together, we can continue fostering and transformation of uh, fostering the transformation of teaching and learning, and the success of Hispanic students. Thank you for this opportunity. We hope you are able to take full ad, a, advantage of the invaluable information that we will a, share during this event. Enjoy and thank you again. And to conclude the uh, welcoming remarks, I'd like to introduce to you the, the chairman of the Heads Board of Directors, President Manuel Carlos, who was elected president of the board during the Heads Summer Board meeting in June 2012. President Fernos has been the president of Inter-American University of Puerto Rico since 1999. Prior to this, he was the chancellor of the Metropolitan Campus, dean of studies, and dean of the Inter-American School of Law. He's a lawyer himself. Uh, he's also a current member of the Board of Directors of the Society of Educators and Scholars, former president of the Association of Colleges and Private Universities in Puerto Rico, vice president and former treasurer of La Red Latinoamericana of Private in Universities, and member of the Administrative Council of the International Association of Universities with headquarters in France. Due to his international work in education and law, the prestigious Complutense Universidad de Madrid 
awarded Manuel Pernos the honorary membership of the Comparative Law Institute. For his leadership in education and community involvement, he was also recognized by the Salvation Army. Fernot's vision for the Inter-American University of Puerto Rico is the internationalization of its academic offerings by broadening and deepening existing consortia and collaborative agreements, providing students educational opportunities for success in a highly competitive and globalized world. Mindful of the substantial non-traditional student population that we all have, and the world's digital native generation, President Fernos has made distance education a top priority for Inter-American University of Puerto Rico, who is offering now more than 50 online programs. Please join me in welcoming my boss, Manuel Fernos, President of Inter-American University of Puerto Rico and Heads Board Chair. Sloan C. Fellow 2013 
and the recipient of the National University Technology Network's Grantham Leadership Award in 2015. He is currently a member of the Quality Matters Academic Advising Council, we need to talk about that, and the NUT Advisory Board, and, the, and he served the, at the Sloan Consortium for many years as Director of Special Initiatives, Effective Practices Editor, Editorial Board Member of the Journal of Asynchronous Learning Networks, and various other roles. During his seven years at Northern Virginia Community College's Extended Learning Institute, he directed development of several associate degree programs available through online and distance education, including engineering, information systems technology, public management, and business management. As a pioneer in online learning, he brings a unique mixture of board practical experience and academic expertise in the field. His career in education and training over the past 35 years includes directing a number of other foundation and federally funded projects. He has also been a trainer, a teacher, administrator, instructional designers, and tutors in the areas of adult literacy, basic skills, information systems, and English as a second language. He holds an MS degree in education from Johns Hopkins University and a BA in psychology from Oberlin College. Please welcome our speaker, Dr. John Sennett. that I'm going to be talking about 